Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, this video I'm going to show you something about extensions. Um, it's not uh, I I think you um mean the extensions behind a file, but I don't mean that. Um, for extent uh, that with extensions, I mean uh, well, I'm going to show you right now. Um, so I'm going to close the start page. I'm going to add a module and it has to be a module otherwise this won't work or you'll actually get an error but okay so I'm just calling this module extensions extensions dot vb of course okay then any mod uh, before the module starts I'm going to uh, do this command so import then system dot run oh, runtime dot compiler services um then yeah when it's imported well, we can do like a function um so let's see i'm going to add a button and two text boxes and for example i want to change the text um like removing the space or something and i'm going to do it with extensions um, so button one, we are going to change it to uh, change text like that. Um, you can change the name. Txt uh, text box one will be uh, text box two will be txt out, and the first one is going to be txt out txt in. So now uh, you can do some references for yourself like fix it single text is extension tutorial like that um also change the icon if you want to I'm just removing the maximize box so back in the extensions I wa want to call it um like uh, this is going to be the input and it will store in this one so uh, for the I'm going to create a uh, function so pub public fun function and then remove space oh remove space and then by file this is very important by file a text as string and then as string so this function will be returning a string um okay so uh, what I mean with an extension, I'm just going to show you right now. Um, like when I do um, dim string str as string and then str and then a dot or period, you'll get a couple of uh, um, uh, options in this list and that are actually extensions, but they are already in the compiler or actually built in. So what I'm going to do is go back to the extension and just before the public function is starting this uh, greater or less than pointing to the left and then x oh, extension and then uh, you can do two brackets but it will actually be automatically and then close that uh, greater or less than thingy and then it's call and it must be a space w within there. Uh, oh, it's uh, uh, recovering, so it will stuck. Oh, it will lag. Well, not so, but okay. So here must be space, and that's very important. And now uh, we can do our code. Um, so as we uh, go back, and then txt out dot text equals to txt in dot remove. Oh wait a second! First of the um str some or or something. Sorry, a string and then equals to st. Uh, I mean, um, what txt in? Sorry, dot text and then text but oh damn txt out dot text equals to str dot then it was called remove space see there it is um, when I declare something like dim 
hello as integer um, equals one or something it actually doesn't matter um, when I show you it won't be in there um, and that is because we declared the function to be a string so it will be associated to all strings um, so now we have this now we have to code that um, as you can see here you can see I don't have to do any brackets or something uh, and then put a value between it for uh, the text but the text value will be oh, will be uh, this one the string that's uh, associated with it and where um, cause str equals the text in the text it will remove all spaces out of this text box and place it into there so I'm going to code that right now it's actually kinda easy so um, dim temp text uh, string equals to text dot replace and then a space and then nothing like that and then return if it, uh, by the way if you don't know how uh, functions and properties work view my previous tutorial or you can find it in my channel so then it will be ret uh, returning temp text so let's uh, try this out oh wait a second I, I actually don't know if I put it in right yes I did I hope this will work so hello YouTube so so see there is no space between it anymore like how are you see it will just place everything behind you can also do something like um, replacing you uh, YouTube or something with oh sorry with a couple of stars like that so when I debug it again um, it will show you YouTube. Oh, wait a second. Hello, YouTube. And then it will say, show you these three stars. I don't know <laughs> if it's actually useful, <laughs> but okay, just to show you. So it's actually kind of easy and kind of cool to know and easier to work with Visual Basic if you know that. Um, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, please uh, visit my channel for more videos. Uh, also, please subscribe. It will keeps me motivating for more videos um, by the way happy new year it's kinda stupid when you are looking this in like June or something but right now it's uh, it's December uh, actually uh, 29th of December so over two days it will be new year so happy new year and by the way Merry Christmas for everyone um, so again it's kinda stupid when you are uh, viewing this video kinda late but okay, so uh, thanks for watching this again. Uh, so comment, rate, uh, whatever you wanna want to do with my video. Um, so <laughs> um, also uh, favorite or something. So I'll catch you later.